What's good, YouTube? And I'm back with another video. So I know I've been gone for a little minute. I was out sick. This seems like one of those school videos when you tell people you're out sick. But no, I was I was actually sick. I was probably I think I had maybe the flu. And this is what we're going to talk about today: distractions. So before we even get this video started, we're gonna give all glory and all praise to God first, and we're gonna get straight into the um intro and don't forget to like comment and subscribe all right so <clears throat> i'm still kind of a tensy bit getting over the sickness so y'all gonna hear me coughing in and out of this video but okay so yeah, I want to talk about distractions. So I was sick from Sunday to Sunday. I was sick for a full week. I didn't go to church or anything. I didn't even, I didn't even read. So this is what I'm going to talk about. Distractions, right? At first, I didn't notice the distraction. Like, I didn't notice that I was using my sickness as a distraction to not read the Bibles. Right, I said the Bibles, but yeah, the Bible. At first, I didn't realize it was a distraction, but I, I came to realize that it was a distraction and I was using my sickness as a reason to be lazy and not to read and not to talk to God. I was using that as a, a distraction. Then I myself to actually get distracted that full week that was sick. And then I realized, as I was overcoming my sickness, that I had no energy to pick up the Bible and read. And I was like, it was sticking with me. It was in my head. Like, I was like, dang, because, you know, you can go from one week from doing something to the next week to doing something totally different. And that's how it was. It seemed like. It seemed like I one the week before I got sick, everything was good. Like I'm speaking like spiritually and everything, but everything was good. I was reading every day. I was getting into the Bible. I was doing my videos. I was everything was good. And then all of a sudden, I got sick. Right? It was something. Okay? We just gonna go with it. It was something. So I got sick. Whole week didn't read. I prayed, I didn't pray. You know how you do those little prayers? I did not pray. I had no energy at all for anything. I wasn't sick anymore. I had no energy at all for anything. And I realized that. I'm like, I'm thinking, okay, maybe I ain't drinking enough fluids or something. I was drinking a lot of water. I was trying to um, get my energy back by doing exercises. No energy still so I'm like okay let's write about it let's talk to God about it let's, let's read let's get in this Bible no matter how I'm feeling no if I ain't got no energy for it we still gonna pick it up and we gonna read it today because it was it was terrible it was it was messing with my mental me and God been in, in tune I've been saved for like a year like actually I made a year a couple days ago that's funny but yeah i made it here a, a couple of days ago right so i know why i felt weak it was because i had because i wasn't i didn't eat let me use this analogy let me use that i wasn't eating right you know when you you don't eat for a long time you go weak well i was going weak i was weak because my connection with God was weak because I wasn't in tune. I wasn't talking to God. I wasn't reading. I wasn't eating. Speaking on spiritual food, I wasn't eating. But I didn't know that at first. I came to realize that with how like my mind was going, I wasn't eating. I was distracted. I became so distracted with watching TV TikTok, all of this. I was distracted. Now let's read Proverbs 4 and 25. 
but your eyes look straight ahead. Fix your glaze directly before you. Give careful thought to the path of your feet. Be steadfast in all ways and do not turn to the right or the left. Keep your foot from evil. Distracted. I got distracted. My foot was going left and right. I wasn't on a straight path. That whole week, my, I was this way and that way. I was allowing. I was allowing what was happening to me to happen to me. Because I had an excuse for it. Right? Oh, I was sick. I didn't feel well. That gave me an excuse to be lazy. and a pre That gave me an excuse. Not a, like a valid excuse, but a little a doozy excuse for what happened. There's no excuse for why I wasn't reading. But that was an excuse, if you know what I'm saying. So, I'm saying all of this to say don't don't allow yourself to get distracted here it says look straight ahead fix your glaze directly before you give careful thought to the paths of your feet walk straight and be steadfast in all ways do not turn right or left just keep going straight i got sidetracked and that, that is not in God's plan for me to get sidetracked. And that was on me. And I'm saying, take. sometimes we don't take accountability for the distractions that we allow in our life. Like, the social media, we, are, we allow that to distract us. And I'm, I'm saying all of this because I'm still going through it. And sometimes we don't even notice that it's a distraction. But oftentimes we do notice it. it's a distraction. So I'm telling you all of this to literally just say to y'all, watch, um, watch out for these distractions that the enemy would put put in front of you, and and don't make these little excuses for why you're not doing what you're doing. It is 24 hours in a day. There should be no reason why you shouldn't pick up your Bible and read and. Get your connection with God stronger. Have your relationship with God. Talk to him. Pray to him. Read his word. There is no excuse for that. This is coming from somebody who literally just went through this. And this is why I'm telling y'all this. Because I don't want I don't want y'all to have to go through what I just went through. Because you got distracted. And then uh, all of a sudden everything. Everything is not aligning how it was aligning before. And all of a sudden you're your anger start to come back or you know you starting to do you fall back into your old patterns or something like that it's because you're not it's because you're not being led by God and I wasn't being led by God so allow God to lead your life stay with God <laughs> don't allow these distractions to get to you is what I'm saying so that's all that's all I got for y'all today. I don't know if I just helped somebody, but it definitely it it definitely was an eye opening for me. But yeah, till next time y'all. Y'all stay blessed, y'all stay safe out here. Peace.